My next match back saved with Heiki Kailainen from Team Finland. Heiki, we were just watching two Team Finland fights out there, Emil Kahela and Johanni Halaka. Um, they didn't manage to get the victories out there at the World Championships of Amateur MMA here in Bahrain. You were watching both of those fights very closely. Can you just break those down for the viewers? Yeah, so like, uh... Emil's opponent from Wales, uh, he was obviously very good like wrestler. I think he had competing in no, no uh, submission wrestling. And uh, he, uh, it was quite obvious that he would run a take, take down and after a couple of like seconds he actually got it. And uh, then he slammed Emil once and after match in that uh, scramble after that he got like uh, RNC and was able to able to choke choke Emil out. Yeah. So that was kind of like yeah. the story of the of the match. Yeah. And uh Yoni as well. Yeah, Yoni he was like uh, fighting against like tough Albanian Albanian fighter. Uh, I think the problem was that uh, Yoni was trying to play like kind of like a jiu-jitsu based based game. Uh, but uh, the, the Albanian opponent was he was uh, he didn't want to wrestle himself, but he was talented to avoid those uh, heel hooks and knee bars that Yoni was attempting, and he was punishing at the same time. Yeah. Yoni could see his hands, and uh, I think he but he was able to cut Yoni in yeah. you know, round one and. And that was that was kind of, that was kind of, of the story of the of the fight yeah. too. It was very repetitive, wasn't it? It kind of seemed each round mirrored each other. He just wasn't really able to offer a yes. counterproductive part to that fight. Yes, that, that's true. That's true. So like uh, it was pretty equal when they were in a, in a, in a stand-up position, but uh, when Yoni was was uh, on his back, uh, the Albanian was was he was doing enough and quite well enough yeah. to to get to victory. Yeah. So let's talk about Team Finland. As a whole, always one of the, the teams that put out a great participation at IMAP. We've got the athletes like Emil Kahela, he's starting to build a bit of momentum. Anita Osterberg, as well, who is, you know, she's, she's been at a lot of tournaments now. She's number two seed in the flyweight brackets. And, and, and that division, if I'm honest, it is the best women's division here in IMAP. You look at the, the names of fighters Alexander Kovac, uh, Ali Smith, Ilaria Mocha, Anita Osterberg, and they just they're, they're all fantastic fighters. Why do you feel that the women's division, especially that flyweight division with Aneta, has just developed uh, slowly through the Europeans, through the Asians, to the World Championship as one of the premier women's divisions? Well, I guess it's like... Uh, I guess that's also in... in uh, Professional level, it's pretty much 125, 135 pounder. 145 pound is, is much harder to find talented female at least. And then, then again, like 115 pounds is like a, so, so. I think it's kind of like it's a bit it same 125 as as for males like lightweight or featherweight, yeah. where the where the talent pool is, is definitely deepest. So I think I think that's that's the one of the reasons we we had actually like quite many like. Like a 125 pounder in Finland too, and like only like very few 115 pounders. Yeah. Do you think that this could potentially be an entire There's always a talk that Kovacs is just too good in the striking department. But if we look at Osterberg's development, I think that in terms of her striking, that has improved. Well. I've been even more impressed by her ground game, especially in Bulgaria. Do you think that's that's kind of the kryptonite to defeat Kovacs? Yes, uh, I would say that uh, I think uh, she's a like modern MMA fighter. Uh, obviously, she has a background in, in a Muay Thai and a stand-up game, but like, uh, and she's not like uh, she's far away from like a traditional wrestler. But uh, she knows what she's doing, and I think she's like avoiding those uh, takedowns. Quite like she has a long leg, so she can use those to to, to keep her like uh, balance. And uh, at the same time, when the opponent like uh, don't succeed, doesn't succeed, it takes her power away and lose like stamina for that. Yeah.